You don't see things that can benefit you in the machining process until you get it out on the floor, even as a machinist. I'll be out on the floor, I'll go run over the computer and go, you need to change this to this, and I'll send the file back to them. They'll tweak it, send it back again. Chances are the tool pads are still good, and we're still running without all the back and forth. It could be days, weeks, every time it happens. My name's Nolan Farmer, and I own Farmer Plastics and Machining Incorporated in Jamestown, Colorado. This bike is a pet project because of my curiosity with SolidWorks and doing things like body design. And when you want to be a designer, that's the pinnacle. So I use this as a, a basis to learn. It's a nitro bike. It's a four-stroke engine. It has push rods. It works like a real bike. It's got flywheels, a real motor, and it's steered with a servo that's inside here and brake and throttle with another servo that fits up in there well hidden. I've always said that since I've had SolidWorks that it's the best tool in my shop. And uh, when you have to take out of SolidWorks or whatever you're using and, and over into another package, it just becomes another extra step. It just got to be too much work. And when I saw that this product may have some promise, I had to go ahead and jump into it and get things done quicker and easier, especially when you're trying to do one-off parts. The tie between your machinist and your designer becomes a lot closer, and the time constraints should become a lot less. The dynamic mill, I've been using that to get better finishes. I've learned in just the last couple of years better cutting tools along with the dynamic milling that removes twice as much aluminum. And it works so, so good that I'm getting things done in half the time. The software is creating less work 